Welcome to NABS 2016. Um, I'm Ira Ryan. I'm one half of Breadwinner Cycles uh, here at the Breadwinner Cycles booth. And um, I want to talk to you guys today about a new bike that we're presenting to the show this year. It's called the, uh, the Goodwater. It's a uh, loosely based on our award-winning Bad Otis from a couple years ago. It's a 650B or 27, point, 27 plus uh, mountain bike that you can also run 29er wheels on if you wanted to. Um, has enough clearance to be able to swap the wheels out. It's primarily designed as sort of a, a modern all, all round mountain bike. It's got a 67 and a half degree head tube angle with a 140 millimeter front fork. Um, again, it's, it's not quite as slack as our Bad Otis bike, um, but it's sort of intended to be a little bit more of an all rounder. Um, we custom shape our chain stays um, with our own dimpling process to get enough clearance to run a 3.0 tire back there. And uh, it's got plenty of clearance on the seat stays all around. Um, the big thing that we're excited about, well, besides just the whole new model um, this year, is also our through axle dropouts that we uh, designed in house and we make with uh, our own stainless steel inserts. So it basically prevents the, uh, it allows the through axle to go through and it doesn't, uh, doesn't mar the paint. Or you don't have to worry about there being any corrosion or rust on the dropouts because um, inevitably the, the paint does sort of chip off when you take the wheel in and out. Um, and the, the good water also features boost spacing. So that's 148 millimeter by 12 axle. Um, the, uh, on the brake side over here we have uh, not only is there a stainless insert for the dropout part, but we actually uh, machine in-house some small inserts for the disc brake caliper, so that's also stainless and masked, so that also prevents the paint from chipping off. Um, yeah, so we're pretty excited about that um, that new design. We think it looks a lot better and uh, offers a nice slick, slick design. Um, on this, this particular bike, we have the new XTR DI2 um, internal wiring. So you can see here, uh, we offer a stainless port. Um, so the frame, the wire is basically through the frame, which so there's no risk of it snagging on anything or you know getting, getting mucked up by mud. Um, we also, uh, on any mountain bike that we offer with a dropper post, we do an optional internal dropper routing. So it's basically through the frame and then uh, comes up through the seat tube. And if you want to look at the seat here, we'll actually show pops up pretty easy. Um, and then right next to that on the down tube, we also have internal routing for the rear hydro line. So that it's a fully brass tube that goes all the way through the frame. So you don't have to fish the, the hydro line through. You basically just push it in and pops out the other side, um, kind of follows the chainstay really well, so you don't have to worry about it clogging up or stuck in the tire. And uh, yeah, we're pretty happy to have um, Chris King's new boost hubs on, uh, on this particular bike. It's a new thing, a new design that they've come up with. Um, I personally think that they're very elegant. And uh, yeah, Envy rims, so the bike is pretty light for being a pretty big tire on there. And uh, yeah, it's available um, paint options. We have nine different you know, stock paint options. And then of course we can do anything custom if somebody wants. Um, yeah, this particular bike as it sits with the uh, NV wheels and the XTR DI2 is $8,800. And uh, we'd love to sell you one today.